I have found breathwork to be one of the most powerful practices for stress relief, confidence, and core and pelvic health in this case with breath of fire. This is not to be practiced if you are pregnant or if you're having your period. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. And for this breath practice, you're going to breathe in and out through your nose and you're going to sit tall and lifted through the crown of your head. Now, as you exhale through your nose, you're going to be gently feeling your belly pull in and up. Your pelvic floor will be lifting as well. So it's this in and up, snapping in and up with every exhalation through your nose. Now, what I want it to look like is in and up with your belly. Please be sure that it's not looking like a pressure downward as you exhale. That's what this looks like in this video. I don't want you to feel this downward pressure every time you exhale. That is really hard on your pelvic floor and it's not effective. So here we go. You are going to sit tall and lifted and you're going to do 20 short, sharp exhalations through your nose. So again, you're really thinking about the exhalations. The inhalation naturally comes breathing out through your nose and feeling that snapping in of your belly as you exhale. Now exhale all your air out, expand your lungs and ribs all around on the inhale. So breathing in, breathing in, sipping in a little bit more, inhaling a little bit more and lift your pelvic floor. Gather up your pelvic floor muscles and then relax fully and completely let go. I love to do a couple of little heart circles just to relax. And then you're going to reverse the hand position and do the same thing another time. So big, deep breath, and then 20 short, sharp exhalations through your nose. Feel the belly snap in and up with every exhalation. This is gathering energy. It's gathering strength and power. It's great for your digestion and great for the muscles of your core. Now on that last exhalation, exhale all your air out, expand your lungs all around as you inhale, keep inhaling, sip in a little bit more air to expand even more and lift your pelvic floor. Feel like you're sucking something up a straw in your pelvic floor area, lift, 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 and then release, completely let it go. Circle it out a few times, relax, release, breathe normally. And for our final round, we're going to hold our thumbs up and curl the fingers over. So it should look like your arms are going straight up overhead. Again, 20 short, sharp exhalations through your nose, feeling that snapping in and up of your belly and your pelvic floor as you exhale, exhale, exhale. And on your last one, hold it. Feel that lift of your pelvic floor as you inhale all around. Inhale a little bit more. Lift, lift, lift the pelvic floor. Holding it, bringing the hands closer together. And then exhale all your air out. Roll out your shoulders and circle your heart around. And we're going to end with a really lovely balancing exercise to really relieve stress and take care of any lingering tension that might be there. You can have your hands on your heart or your low belly. And if there's any type of distress or worries that you have about anything right now, this is your time to let it go. Just release it. And instead, I want you to bring your attention and your awareness to something in your life that you feel really grateful for something that you feel unconditional love for. Keep breathing and relaxing. And this isn't about bypassing our challenges. It's instead about shifting our attention just for this now moment onto something that is just wonderful in your life. Keep breathing. Keep feeling that love and that gratitude, that unconditional love for that thing or that person or that pet or that place or that time in your life. Feel it with every cell in your body, that gratitude, that unconditional love. Let it fill your body, your heart, your cells, and your soul.
Keep breathing. One more deep breath, drawing all of that love into your body, into your heart, and smile. Thank you so much for joining me. This practice is something you can do every single day. And just notice what changes as far as your core strength, your pelvic health, and your confidence and clarity. If you want more ways to work with me, you can always explore my channel, my YouTube channel. There are so many videos. You can use the search bar to search for anything you want. You will find lots of options. And you can also check out my playlists. So just go to the playlists tab on my channel and you can just view what you see as you click the playlist tab, or you can go to my created playlist to see all of them. So click the thing that says created playlists and you will see even more. I have so many videos from the past many, many years that I've been on YouTube uh, for you to explore and enjoy. You can also go to my website, vibrantpelvichealth.com and explore my resources, my blog. You can also go to the start your journey tab and see all the different ways that you can work with me. This has my programs and it also has a link to a quiz where you can find out if your pelvic floor needs help. So enjoy exploring all that I have to offer. I'm going to be slowing down on videos a little bit for the summer, but in the meantime, just know that I am always here for you. Until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter.